Today's creature of the day is the Squalicorax. Its name means crow shark because it was a shark that exhibited similar behavior to crows, scavenging dead animals. It's been found in Australia, New Zealand, Angola, Madagascar, Morocco, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Japan, Russia, the Czech Republic, the Netherlands, France, Canada, and the U.S., specifically Alabama, Kansas, South Dakota, Wyoming, Texas, Mississippi, and North Carolina. It lived 109 to 66 million years ago during the mid to late Cretaceous. It was a medium-sized shark at 10 feet or 3 meters long on average, but some species grew up to 16 feet or 4.8 meters long. It had a body shape similar to the modern gray shark and had teeth for cutting pieces of meat into large chunks. They would be common to find around the carcasses of mosasaurs, turtles, and even hadrosaurs. A Cleosaurus, a hadrosaur from western North America, had drifted out to sea, drowned, and become food for a multitude of Squalicorax, as teeth marks and partially digested bones suggest. Unlike most sharks, Squalicorax skeletons have actually been preserved, which is difficult, as cartilage doesn't fossilize as well as bone. It went extinct due to the KPG extinction and was likely hunted by mosasaurs and larger sharks. It was described by John Louis Rodolphe Agassiz, in 1835, and there are 33 species, the type species being Squalicorax pristodontus. In media, it's appeared in Sea Monsters, Sea Monsters of Prehistoric Adventure, Monsters Resurrected, Dinosaur Train, Path of Titans, Dinosaur Simulator, and Carnivore's Continuum. Well, that's a very interesting prehistoric shark that mainly fed off the carcasses of other animals. Well, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.